Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and this new tutorial on PyTorch. So in previous video, we learned about like how we can uh, extend the uh, NN module of PyTorch and then how we can create a simple model using uh, that. And then also we saw like uh, how we can uh, create a model using that and then how we can pass the input to the model and how we can get the output. Okay, so in this video, we will continue and learn about uh, another uh, important module, which is a uh, uh, linear module, also known as a uh, uh, simple neural network. So uh, in, in um, simple neural network, we have uh, input, which is here input data X. It has uh, four elements and then we create a weight matrix, okay, which is also like uh, um, learnable parameter we could say and it should be of dimension what the dimension input is coming one of the dimension and then what dimension we want the output to be okay and then we have this optional uh, bias um, and these two uh, matrices are randomly initialized and then we learn them for a particular data set okay and then the forward pass is simply this. This is also known as transformation. So what we do is uh, we simply multiply the weight matrix with the input values and then sum the bias with it and we get Z. Okay. And that's how uh, in general the neural network works. Okay. So this is the forward pass and then we have the backward pass where we uh, update the parameters and then train it properly. But that will be a little bit uh, uh, more advanced that we won't cover in this tutorial. Probably if uh, uh, someone interested, I can uh, uh, put some link in the video description. You can go through it and see like how the derivation or the uh, gradient computation works. Okay, so let us dive in and create a simple neural network and see how it works okay so let us dive in so let us create a class neural net and as usual you need to extend nn dot module and you need to import that as well and that comes from torch okay and as usual, you need to define an init function and let us call it input size and output size. Okay, and let us call super and let us define a simple neural network with one layer. Okay, so let us call it self dot and n is equal to and n dot linear what it needs it needs input size like what the feature our input size dimension would be and what output we want okay what would be the size of the output also let us print like uh, self dot and n dot weight and then let us also print self dot and then dot bias okay and now we need to create a simple forward method and let us pass inputs for the time being let us ignore this and let us create a simple instance of the model and let us call it model is equal to neural net and let us say like our input feature would be um, 16 dimensional and we want the output two dimension okay so let us run and see what it gives us as a weight and bias so let us run and see it so you can see this is our weights and this is our bias so weight dimension would be like um um output dimension like uh, in this case two cross um input dimension okay so you can see here so if you look at here it is of the shape so this shape is like two cross 
16 okay and this one is of shape 2 okay so in general the weight shape is like output cross input and the bias shape is output okay this is simply just for the sake of understanding now let us create a simple dummy input and pass it through the network so let us say we have a simple random input let us say it x is equal to torch dot rand and let us create like a 4 cross 60 okay so you can think of is x is a batch of four samples that has input size 16 okay now let us implement our forward pass as well so what we will do is simply return self dot and then dot and then we simply pass inputs okay and now we pass the x through model and we get the output so we can simply say output is equal to model x okay now let us print output that will be exactly like 4 cross 2 because we have say we have told the model to be output uh, of size 2 okay so let us run and see it so you see we have four samples and for each sample we get a two dimensional tensor and we get a um, four cross two dimensional tensor okay so now to understand a bit more details you can see here like uh, uh, what exactly are the parameters of this so n dot linear require in feature out feature and bias is by default true we can specify device as well whether we want to run it on gpu or cpu also we can uh, define the data type as well okay so the default uh, operation that it runs is simply it multiplies the input with the weight matrix which is simply we have seen here this weight matrix and then it simply aids the bias with that okay so this is how um, in general the linear layer works so you can uh, you can think of it as a simple neural network which has a simple one layer okay so this is uh, i hope that is clear and uh, in this video we will stop here and in the next video we will continue learning more um, uh, layers from nn module so thanks for watching bye for now take care see you in the next